Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a super short video based on the lip that I had in my last video, the Black Friday Get This Not That. It was basically a lip combo because I wanted to show you this new product that I'm going to call my secret weapon if you ever want to take one of your lip colors up a notch. It's this by Bite Beauty and it is a gold lip gloss. Now I saw it in store at Sephora. Uh, some of you saw when I first posted that on Instagram. My Instagram will be linked below. And I said, okay, I figured when I would swatch it that it would be like this kind of really sheer thing with lots of like sparkles and stuff. No, look at this. Okay, this is the product. It smells like something sweet, like a sweet little candy. Look at this. Okay, do you, do you see that that is just pure gold? Dofit applicator. It's kind of tilted as you can see there. Look at that. It is like pure gold. And when you, so I was surprised by that, but I didn't buy it the first day. But then that night I kept, I kept thinking about it. So the next day I went back and I did buy it. Now I just kind of smeared it out a little bit and look, the gold is, it's just brilliant. But obviously I knew I couldn't wear it just like that alone on my lips. And I'll show you why. Maybe if you're in some theatrical performance, you could. I'm going to just put this on on camera so you can see that it's so opaque and also just really, really gold. Let me zoom in so you can look. I mean, come on. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Like, absolutely nowhere. I'm just going to do this in top loop now. So I'm just doing this so you see that, at least according to me, it looks crazy. Um, right? Okay. So obviously you can't wear it like, oh, let me say, I can't wear it like this, right? <laughs> but let me just say, feel smooth on the lips. You don't feel any gritty little grainy bits on your lips or anything. It feels smooth. It's the type of gloss where if your hair were to get you know, blowing in the wind or something, it could attach to your lips, but it doesn't feel sticky. Like, yes, it has some thickness to it but it doesn't feel sticky like oh mm, because I hate sticky glosses this is not sticky feels really nice so what I'm going to do for the remainder of this video is just show you a couple of quick looks the first one will consist of this one which is what I had on in my last video this is drop dead red it's a matte by Too Faced cosmetics from their uh, melted matte collection so I'm going to put this on then do the gold on camera so you kind of see like what I do and the process is the same for all the lips I'm going to show you I'm sure there are other things that you can think of but let me just show you what I went through to get that lip really really quick and easy so I'll be right so back. I'm back drop dead red is dry so now I'm just going to go in with this bite beauty product and this is really what I had going on in my last video let me just zoom in. I just kind of go in the center. Sorry, I'm looking through the viewfinder. And just tap it out. And now because it's it really is creamy in nature, the Bite Beauty one, um, it can get, you know, over time it's like the creaminess just makes it spread a bit more. So just be careful about your placement. But just this kind of thing. Just dabbing it out. And that's it. Now, of course, if you want the gold to show through even more, then, you know, just don't do as much of the dabbing. But for me, I like it to be a bit more subtle. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Where you still get that, like, shimmer. And you see that gold going on. So that's the look I had for the last video. It's all about this Bite Beauty Gold lipstick. I'm just going to show you a couple of other lip options and what you can do. Sorry, I'm way zoomed in. Um, show you a couple of other lip options and some colors basically doing the same thing but let me just mention this because it is thick enough you can if those of you who are let's say for, for uh, f um, photographs you're going to do some type of lip art or something certainly not this but <laughs> let's say you were you know, it just stays in place. It's not like it's going to run down your lips. It's thick enough to just stay where it's put. But if you're planning on going out, just as my lips just move smack together when I was talking, see how it's going to, it's going to smear a bit because, you know, it's creamy. It is creamy. So, yeah. So, you could wear this, apply it heavily or a light coating and get whatever desired result you want. So, anyway, so I'm on to some other looks. Now, I'm wearing Boss Lady by The Lip Bar this one. I have a video on 
my top breads and this one made the cut and so now I'm just putting the Bite Beauty as an overlay on that look at that so of course you could do the whole lip or just in the center I'm hoping you're seeing like the shimmer of this it's like hmm. I don't want the lighting to throw it off but yeah so that's what you can do so this is that bite beauty gold over the lip bar doo -doo, these two boss lady by the lip bar from the Mil milani matte collection i can't remember the name and all the writing has rubbed off but i think it's uh covet was the name of the brown shade which is what i'm wearing now again take it up a level with the gold gold on brown should be nice yeah, again, you may just want to do the center for some. <laughs> Not put a lot there, but mm -mm. I think you get the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so this is the Bite Beauty. <clears throat> and Bite Beauty is vegan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's certainly uh, free of parabens and other chemicals they extract from there. I believe they say it's edible. Don't quote me on that and don't eat it. But I should also mention that when you're taking it off, it can be like uh, if you're just trying to wipe this gold off of your mouth with just like tissue, the shimmer of it can get everywhere. You don't feel it. Like you wouldn't know what's happening unless you look in the mirror and see that you now have shimmer like all around your mouth. But um, that can happen. So I just like to use my, you already know, my Sephora oil and gel remover, but you can use just straight oil, whatever. We'll get it all removed from your mouth. And again, because it's not gritty or anything, you won't feel it. You would just see it when you look in the mirror. But anyway, um, yeah, otherwise it stays in place. It's good. I like it. This is a really nice accent for or whatever it is that you would like to wear on your lips. It just is a nice little topper or something really to accentuate. Not necessarily to go on top of it. Yeah, see, I rubbed it in now too much. But whatever. So many things that you can do. Especially if you're more of an artist and makeup artist. You would, I'm sure, find many more uses than the simple things that I just showcased. But there we go. Kind of looks like I have mustard left there now but you know I'm sure you would work that out <laughs> on your own but anyway that's what I had in that last lip video and I will talk to you all soon thank you so much for watching bye